was at cross country all day wearing a hat, so my hair looks a bit like this. So lesson B, this is a great lesson that links instructional writing and literacy to the technologies, specifically engineering. So what I do is I show the kids my kind of Rud Goldberg machine and tell them that they are going to create one very similar. But then what I'd actually get them to do is to deconstruct the machine, so carefully take things off. Yeah. There we go. Because by looking at the tracks, kids can see actually how they were constructed. So once they've identified the features and had a go making it themselves, then they could move on to actually writing some instructions. Now, without patronising any teachers, I would always give it a title, look at the equipment and get them to use some images too. The instructions should go in order, but also have some icons down the side to help you see what you should be doing. Personally, I always like to also put in a wee top tip that adds that wee bit of pupil voice and humour. So once they've got instructions for every part of the machine, then just get yourself a table. Pull the chairs out of the way. And flip it. Upright. That's what tables were made for. Now just two quick tips. If you've got tables like this that are not whiteboard tables, get chalk. It writes on it perfectly and you can always rub it off again. See, chalk can actually uh, allow your kids to measure and draw their plan on the board and it comes off dead easy. Final tip too is it might be tempting to use marbles, but if you've got wee uh, pom-poms, they work really well. They're softer, they roll slower, and they're more forgiving.